Hi, I'm Kelly Davio for the Center for Biosimilars, your resource for clinical, regulatory, business, and policy news in the rapidly changing world of biosimilars. Here are our top five biosimilars articles for the week of July 10. Number five, a recent report demonstrates that the use of biosimilars has not translated into savings for most healthcare providers. Number four, for the second time in two months, the Patent Trial and Appeal Board struck down five claims of a key patent on Humira. Number three, the French National Agency for Medicines and Health found that Biocon has failed to comply with good manufacturing practice requirements for three of its biosimilar products. Number two, the FDA's Oncology Drug Advisory Committee reviews Biologics license applications for Avastin and Herceptin biosimilars. And finally, number one, Dr. Angus Worthing, practicing rheumatologist at Arthritis and Rheumatism Associates in Washington, D.C., and chair of the American College of Rheumatology's Government Affairs Committee, joins us to discuss the FDA's draft guidance concerning biosimilar interchangeability. Read these articles and more at centerforbiosimilars.com.